360 degree reality, hey guys and welcome to another video on Excel Studios and this time once again this is gonna be a quick tip uh, but this time I think it's gonna be pretty cool because I'm just gonna show you how to make this shape grids uh, or fields of shapes I don't know how to say that and uh, how to make some crazy stuff with it within like five seconds so in order to start I'm just gonna make a new composition pressing ctrl n on the keyboard and uh, then Kiki has birthday okay anyways I'm gonna shorten this composition a little bit just going to four seconds press n and then zoom in a little bit okay and then I'm just gonna make an ellipse by selecting this tool pressing Q for example or just clicking on it or if there is like this rectangle just hold click it and go to ellipse tool or press Q until the circle is there okay and then I'm gonna drag this out pressing control shift then I'm gonna align it to the middle going to window align and then uh, just pressing those two buttons and gonna reposition the anchor point but you can use uh, the free script reposition anchor point which looks exactly the same as motion version 2 script and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna scale this down a little bit yeah this is good then I'm gonna go to contents just click on it and uh, click on add repeat okay then you actually already see what's happening so uh, the system automatically sets this position to 100 I guess this is just to show the repeat is already on don't worry there are already three shapes uh, because if this would be zero we wouldn't see anything so I'm just gonna drag this up to until they don't touch anymore so 260 just to make it cool and then copies I guess ju just uh, just guess how many would fit on this screen I would say like 20 and then uh, go to offset and type in half of this with a minus in front of it so um, what this does I can show you so the offset I, I don't know it, it's kind of it's kind of hard to explain to be honest um, I would recommend just playing around with these repeaters offsets and copies a little bit because I also needed like two weeks or so to figure out what this actually does and why it's uh, so important to set this to minus 10 you could also uh, set this to zero and then drag this to there but then we wouldn't have a good control over it so I would just recommend making the same technique the same thing as I did so oh okay so now the magic is gonna happen I'm gonna select this repeater thing and press ctrl D to duplicate it then I'm gonna go down to transform and I just switch those to this to zero and then the other one to 260 so now we got this huge grid and then I'm just gonna show you this that's actually pretty much the point of making grids so uh, the next thing I'm gonna animate is the scale and maybe rotation and maybe down here the position and scale okay then I'm gonna go like two four seconds maybe and just mess around with those a little bit okay and rotate them a little bit uh huh. Okay, now let's see how this turned out. Holy shit, you can make like the weirdest things ever with this. But I still think this looks pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you. And um, maybe you got even inspired by some of these shape formations. And yeah, I guess I'll see you next time.